communication of tumor cells with the microenvironment. Tumor-associated fibroblasts. PDGF stimulates the division of tumor-associated fibroblasts. Epithelial cells make contact with the extracellular matrix, ECM. The acinus of a mammary gland, shown here, is surrounded by connective tissue, which contains cells such as endothelial cells, macrophages, and fibroblasts. After the malignant transformation of an epithelial cell, the carcinoma cells spread within the glandular lumen. The tumor cells then penetrate the normal epithelium and make contact with the surrounding microenvironment. Tumor cells produce cytokines and growth factors, which affect the cells of the microenvironment. In the present example, tumor cells release platelet-derived growth factor, which stimulates the proliferation of tumor-associated fibroblasts. TGF-beta stimulates the synthesis of connective tissue. Tumor cells may release TGF-beta, which activates tumor-associated fibroblasts. The activated fibroblasts produce connective tissue components such as collagen 1 and 3. Tumor stroma is the connective tissue produced in response to the growth of solid tumors. Through the stroma run blood vessels that supply the tumor with oxygen and nutrients. TGF-beta stimulates the release of metalloproteinases, MMPs. Tumor stroma is a dynamic entity that is remodeled when carcinomas grow. In response to TGF-beta derived from tumor cells, activated tumor-associated fibroblasts may release metalloproteinases, which are symbolized as scissors. Metalloproteinases digest components of the connective tissue, such as collagen fibers. HGF, hepatocyte growth factor, scatter factor, stimulates the motility of tumor cells. Tumor-associated fibroblasts can affect the behavior of tumor cells. The fibroblasts may produce scatter factor, which is also known as hepatocyte growth factor, or HGF. Scatter factor binds to a cell membrane receptor of tumor cells called MET. Activated MET stimulates motility and invasive growth of tumor cells. The density of the connective tissue matrix affects the morphology of mammary epithelium. Epithelium may experience higher pressure when the density of the connective tissue matrix increases. The higher pressure may produce morphological changes similar to those seen in carcinomas. In this model, tumor-associated fibroblasts produce collagen fibrils as a response to TGF-beta. With increasing collagen content and stiffness of the connective tissue matrix, the normal structure of the gland and the regular localization of E. cadherin green color and alpha-6-beta-4-integrin ochre tone are lost.